Let's, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh. That was crazy. That was a... Crazy. Went into online and it said, "Nah, brother, this ain't this ain't this ain't for you. This ain't for you, cuz." All right, from fifty to seventy-five, you did all right, bro. So let's look at um, what can we do? Special events. Oh, these are all long as hell. Oh, no, 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 no. Half an hour. Why? Why are they doing this? What's this? Um, the one minute 50 in the dump. I wonder how delayed and shitty the McLaren feels. But then again, the damp only probably get 44s in that McLaren low 44s. So what else, what else have they got here? Cloudy. This is 11 laps of spa, 11 laps. I swear I've got, I've got a setup for this car on YouTube somewhere, man. Setup was mint. It's doing 17, 17 sixes. Can only imagine how fast it is on this game. Fucking hell. On console. Could only imagine. Hmm. Do we do we bother to do this though? Eleven laps of spa. I don't I haven't got eleven. I haven't got I haven't got eleven laps in me. Um do we bother to improve our time trial time? I don't really wanna I don't really wanna touch anything until they fix this steering out to be honest. Uh. <sighs> I'm telling you to fix the steering like mid 56s would be so easy. Just fix just come on guys, just fix the steering, please. Please man. That's, that's all we that's all we want. That's all we want. So let's let's actually see how fast the old Porsche is. Let's drive. Hmm. What truck? Okay, we'll get rid of the thunderstorm. Put that shit to cloudy. Actually. Can I remember the exact setup that I had? Or should where's my phone? Oh my phone's close to me. Hooray. I can actually look at my own setup. My phone is close, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me just try this man. Let me try. Eleven laps though, that's, that's a lot, isn't it? It proper is. Let's have a look at Cryptic TMG's old setup, shall we? Oh, my phone has no battery. Motherfucker. That's just, that is just, that is just me all over. All right, mate. This session is about consistency. Try to be fast, but don't push it too much over the limit. 15 track temp in green conditions. What could go wrong? Um, everything, really. Old Porsche, old Porsche. What do we do with the old Porsche? Can we even remember? Well, I do prefer ECU map four for the Porsche because the ECU maps are different. Although I believe eight is the qualify mode. Um, so we try eight. Doesn't need a lot of traction control. Uh, let's go. One one on the brakes. 
Oh shit, do you know what? I just can't remember what I used to do to this thing. One thing I do know is this is just fucking ridiculous. All the way up here. We'll go with 15. 15. In most cars, you want to bring the rear bump stop range down. There's no point in having it on like 55 or 60. It makes no sense. Doesn't do F4. Okay, I already know I'm going to have to bring the bloody steering ratio down. Because it's just weird. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to wait to turn my phone on. So I can actually remember what I did to this car. Because if it was doing 17 sixes. That's pretty decent. Around Spa. In that old Porsche. Right. Will my phone turn on yet? That's the question. That is the question. Oh, come on. I've charged you for all the two minutes. It won't even turn on for me. Yes! It's alive! It's alive. I get to look at my own sub. Uh, honestly, I, it was so old, so long ago that I did the setup for this car. I genuinely cannot remember, man. Dun, 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 dun. Right. Let's go on my YouTubes. Let's scroll down the videos and try and find my own setup. Come on. What? Why is it being dumb? Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, get off the screen now. Do me in. <sighs> it's frozen. Accounts, yes, this is my account. Jesus Christ. Why would you be this annoying? Sorry guys, I'm literally trying to get on my own phone, on my own account, and it's just being dumb. Thank you. Fucking hell. Uh, Let's go through all these videos. Scroll back months and months. Probably about a year. I, I, I wonder what actual patch this game actually relates to PC on. I think it's got to be one of the first, first, first patches we had on PC. It's got to be. I don't believe it to be the same 1.37 that was on, um, that was on console. What? Wow, this Porsche video has got 11,000 views. Why? Porsche, this Porsche is rubbish. That's crazy. Who's my favourite sim driver? Oh, 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 that's that's an excellent question. You know what that is? That's a great question. My favourite sim driver. Are we talking about personality? Um Are we talking about just driver skill? Likeability, what 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 we what's the criteria man? What are we judging it off? Overall skill I would have to put number one Camille Franzak. I think he's number one bro. But I say that I'm talk that's me just talking about a set of courses sim drivers. On a set of course I would say Camille Franzak is probably the number one for me. Because he's just different level, that guy. Style. Hmm. Um, what's his name? Is it Josh Rogers on iRacing? He's a beast, that guy. That guy is an absolute beast. Yo, Cloud vs. Rhoda, how you doing, bro? How are you doing? Yeah, Josh Rogers on iRacing, man. That guy's crazy. <laughs> 
<laughs> like that guy's insane. He makes everyone else just look average. Even even at the top level, especially when they're doing like the Porsche Cup and that. Crazy, crazy quick, man. Um, who else? I mean, there's you know, there's there's like this is there's too many, man. I, I like um, I don't know if you guys know him, but Jerome Querkel. The reason why I like Jerome Querkel is because I watched that guy come from like playing F1 2013. You know, he was playing F1 2013, and then I watched him go to R Factor. I watched him win championships, and then he grew, and then he just won championship after championship. Man, it was crazy. Oh, my YouTube favorite YouTube sim driver is Jardia. It's pretty easy. Good personality. Jardia is actually a he's actually a very good driver, man. Very good driver. It's consistent. You know, and the thing is, the thing is with Jardia is like Jardia would be way quicker, I think, if he was like actually doing a race where he wasn't talking to chat. And like literally concentrating and practice for a week. Jardier would be rapid. But I've seen Jardier come on, practice for about 45 minutes and still be at the front. And that's how most of his races are. He doesn't practice the way how I practice or the way how a lot of these other guys practice, man. He jumps on 45 minutes, half an hour, done. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And then he's, he's battling at the front. So if you think about it, if he wasn't a streamer, he'd probably be a lot, lot quicker. A lot quicker. Yeah, man. He's a nice guy, man. He's just a nice guy. <clears throat> also, I like I like Nils Naljux on a set of course of competition only because I just admire the amount of just work that he puts into his setups and any car he gets into, he's the fastest guy in that car. <laughs> he knows everything to do with the setups, bro. That guy's got everything down to a T. You know what I mean? Rev range, your your rake, how much how much of your car's um how how much of your, your car downforce is not needed. Just everything. Nils Naljux, that guy, like in terms of um like the way he sets his car up, how meticulous he is, crazy bro. Cheers bro, I appreciate that man. I appreciate that. But you guys also mate if you don't know, if you're on console Make sure you go and watch Nils now Nils Naljuk's video just to get an over overall information about how much of this game is like hidden, you know? How many things are hidden. Do you know what I mean? Even for even for the tops I know the top sim racers watch Nils Naljuk's bro. They watch that guy to the point where I think he can't give out all the information he wants because um yeah, if he gives out all the information he'll be making them guys even quicker, but this guy, I've seen him test. Um, um, what was he testing once? I was, I was stunned. It was a uh, shit. Um, it was drag. He was testing drag. I think, how the hell do you test drag? And they actually tested drag. And like sometimes when you set your car up, even though it feels good. You've got too much drag, so you're just losing time every time you get to a straight. And it's, as I said before, it's not all about just taking wing off of your car. It's a lot, lot more technical than that. And they tested it. I was in shock. I was like, Jesus Christ. I didn't even know it was that deep. You know what I mean? I didn't even know it was that deep. But everything, that guy, he's so meticulous with the setups that, and it shows. When it comes to the esports events, it shows. He's always the fastest car in whatever car he's in. Um, when you go into that level of detail, it's almost that's when it becomes real, you know. And you see him; he's like one of the only people you see using one traction and one ABS. You would try it, and you're just all over the place. But when he does it, he's flying, and that's because his setup is as perfect as you can probably get it. Yeah, he yeah he's doing uh, driver driver coaching with Chris Hay. You know what I mean? Uh, he's that. Is he the Red Bull esports manager as well? Something like that. Yeah, he's a very, very good guy to watch. If you if you're interested in ACC, definitely you need to be subscribed to Nils Naljux, that's for sure. Alright, I've almost no, I'm still looking for this damn setup. I think I found it. Go on, give it to me. Okay. So 
I ran inverted cambers. Don't know why. 28, 2.8 on the front. And I mean, this was about a year ago, so surely this should be in line with this game in console. I'll leave that on the rear. Run at zero. Do like this. Yeah, I, I, I just like when he shows um, where he gains the time from. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting to see the different techniques and sometimes, you know, he gives up the corner on the way in to get the exit on the way out. And you gain more on the way out than you do on the way in. So, uh, like, don't be, like, fussed about... Especially if you're coming from P-Cars 2. When P on P-Cars 2, like, I know that you can gain a lot of time on the break-in, bro. A load of time on the break-in. So on P-Cars 2, you pretty much want to be breaking as late as humanly possible. But on a set you really want to make sure you're getting a good exit. Because, let's be honest, on a set if you don't get a good exit, you ain't overtaking nobody. No one. Alright. But I, I remember on P cars, mate, the driving technique, like if you got fast on P cars, your driver technique was worthless in any other game. That's 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 why I, that's the original reason why I stopped playing P cars because I played it, I came over to PC, I played it some more, and now I've got Race Room, and then I've got iRacing and all that shit. And I realized P Cars was making me drive like an idiot. On P Cars, and I'm braking, I'm braking towards the apex, like really narrow apexes and stuff like that, just because the way you could like flick the car and rotate it, it was so unrealistic. And then I would go into the other games, and I would be shit. And then I'll get to grips of the other games, drive more realistic. And then come back to P cars and I'll be shit at P cars. So I just I'd stop playing it. It was a uh, it was making me rubbish. So I thought no more of that kid. No more of that. Okay, this is a slow process. Come on. Am I really gonna do eleven laps though? That's the that's the that's the question. I can't see it somehow. Right, we, let's just check if this setup even still works. I had this on the 54. Dun, 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 dun. 14, 90, or 900. Oh, my phone's gone dark. Why? Don't do this to me, man. Oh, the battery died. Oh, you didn't do it to me. Motherfucker. Oh, AC was great. Nope. The thing is with PCARS 2, it was fun. In terms of fun and all your friends jumping on and all that stuff, but in terms of physics, it was nowhere near AC. Can't hold a candle to that game in terms of physics. I think PCAR's 2 physics were particularly bad, man. But because on console at the time, we had nothing better to play. So it was just like, you know, got to play it. There's nothing else to play. And then we went to PC and then PCAR's 2 does feel a bit better on PC, but still not that great. And the driving, like the driving, if you still play PCAR's 2, man, I can tell you things that just make you faster straight away that I wasn't even doing at the time. Yeah, P, um, Auto Ballista, I don't think it took their tyre model. It definitely took the game engine, but Auto Ballista feels like 10 times better than PCAS 2. That's what I mean. Like, how do you let someone take your engine from your game and make a better game? Shows you how shocking bloody... What's their names are? Um, slightly Mad. Yeah, yeah, um... One is auto clutch off. Auto clutch off on on um P cars is a, is like a given, bro. That's <laughs> like 
you're not going anywhere if you've got auto clutch on. And that's, in fact, that's been the same since P-Cars 1. Even P-Cars 1, you had to have auto clutch off, bro. Otherwise, you're slow as hell. And then the other one is a lot of people using like 360 steering ratio on P-Cars. And it was fast as hell. And what else? Also, inverted cambers. Kind of what I've done here. Inverted cambers on um, P cars is what, what the guys used to do to balance out their cars so they could run really low downforce. Because on P cars, like, it's not like a, a setto. On P cars, if you knock the downforce down, you're clearly quicker down the straights. Whereas on this game, you can knock your downforce down and you'll be going exactly the same speed because your aero balance is off. But on P cars, the lower your wing was, the faster you'd go. So what people would do is they'll knock their wing down. Um, my Discord in the chat. Okay, okay. I will. Hold on. Give me two seconds. Da, 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 da. And... Create an invite. Never. Okay, copy, paste. Oh my God. There you go. Yeah, um, fuck. I just lost my video. <laughs> oh my god. All I want is the wing settings, bro. That's all I want. Oh, what have I done? This is so annoying. Okay. Oh, I ran seven wing, really? I'm a brave man. Seven wing. I'll, I'll leave it on eight because it's on green track conditions. Two, two, happy days. But yeah, what was I saying? On P cars, hold on. What everyone used to do is they'll run like their camber. What was the front camber on? The front camber used to be like on like two and then the rear camber will be on like 2.5 and then they'll knock the wing down to like two or three and they'll be rapid in the straights and then um. Then when they go around the corners, their back end never used to step out because they had more camber on the rear. It was that silly, the setups. It was, it was a joke. Go on, give us, give us a racing joke. Go on. Make me laugh. You work hard on that one, huh? Okay, well, that ain't that some shit. Alright, this session is about consistency. Try to be fast, but don't... <laughs> oh, don't worry, this, this ain't worth stealing yet. Not in these conditions, bro. I forgot as well, I didn't warm up my brakes. Why is my... Oh, might need traction on two. I didn't warm up my brakes at all. I'll put this to two. Did not warm up my brakes. The back end is lethal now. Put this down. Put that up. Did I? I didn't even do the fucking dampers, man. I'm a sick guy. I did all that and missed the dampers. Oh my god. I talk too much. 
my age, it's, it's because I'm I'm actually playing on console today. I'm actually playing on console today. I thought I would jump on console and um, see what's cracking. Right, let's go back. I didn't even do the goddamn dampers. What a sick man. Um, can I find the dampers or? Okay, um, look, now it's showing me in bloody 380. I can't even see the numbers. Why is my life like this? Okay, dampers. So seven nine six ten. Seven nine six ten, and the rear is three four six eight. Which or the rear is default. Okay. All right. The one one is most aggressive in all the other cars apart from the Porsches where the Porsche if I can remember um, 4 is normal power output um, I can't remember what I can't remember what 5 is um, I, f I believe 1 to 3 is some sort of reduced power output I, I honestly can't remember all I know is that 7 and 8 is the most aggressive 8 being the qualifying map for a Porsche so if you want the fastest lap times you want it in eight but I think it's more aggressive traction um I think it's aggressive throttle eight's aggressive throttle why am I doing it on the APS on the ABS I'm an idiot I'm supposed to be doing it down here I've actually got you know if you jump into my discord I can uh I can send the actual maps for all the cars man because I've got that on my discord yeah, one to four. At, well, four is not actually bad. Just like a normal power output. But eight is for your quality laps. But if you jump in my Discord, I can send the uh, actual um, the maps for each car. I'm, I'm, I've got I've got a community on um, on PS4 as well. I've got a set of course of community on there. I might just start dropping some stuff in there for the people that don't use Discord and all that sort of shit. <laughs> Bentley's the only thing you've driven. Bentley is a great car. It's, it's not. It's not a complaint. I can. The, the only bad thing about Bentley is that uh, it's just not good in quali. But it's very good in the race. It's not a good quali car. Good quali cars are like the AMG, uh, the Audi, depending on the track. The Porsche is fast everywhere, and the Ferrari. They're normally like the good qualifying cars. Oh my god. Wow. I forgot to warm up my brakes, I'm stupid. Let's see if it kills us again. Nope. Yep. Oh my god. Well, lads, it's fair to say that setup does not transfer. Fucking hell. Yeah, that, that setup doesn't transfer at all. I told everyone, I told them, the setups are not going to transfer exactly the same because... The grip on the game is not exactly the same, so it's not possible, f can't possibly transfer exactly the same. I knew it. I knew I would be right. I'm, 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 I'm proving myself right, lads. I am. Okay, so clearly the rear ride height being that low, that high, sorry, is causing a problem. I don't really want to go up on wing, but green track conditions <coughs> in general are just trash. So, what was it on? We'll put it to 68, maybe. 
I'm going to lower the front a bit softer. Get rid of the bump stop range. What did I have this on? I swear I had it on, yes. Like 14 or so. The death trap. Well, actually, I had a pretty good setup for this car on PC, so I wanted to test it out on console. I was doing like 2 minutes 17 sixes with this old Porsche, so I wanted to test it out. Um, I had, I've got a couple of decent setups for this car. And it's it's one of the uh, it's one of the time trial events, you see. So I just want to see what I can do, what I can do. Right. Sounds too low. Which sound? The game sound. If the game sounds too low, I can definitely turn it up. Even though it's going to kill my ears. But I'll do that for you. Because I'm a nice guy. <clears throat> Let's see. Also, something I forgot to like, forgot to tell you guys. Hold on, hold on. What is my brakes on? One, one. Okay. What I forgot to tell you guys is, when you do these hot stints, if you do any of the special event hot stints or super poles or whatever, grind your brakes before you start the lap. Just do this. I used to watch Tim at Marduk. Yeah, grind your brakes so they're warm before you get to turn one. You gain a lot of time that way. Able to break later straight away. All right, let's see if we die again. No, we don't, but we got hell out of this there. Okay. It's a start though. Alright, feels decent. So we got here. Okay, no, I still don't like that. I still don't like the front end. Right, this session is about consistency. Try to be fast, but don't push it over the limit. I mean, this car is. I mean, it shouldn't be bottoming out because the car is 60 millimeters, which is like six millimeters higher than anything else. So, running that's the that's the thing. When when you when you understand the error balance of ACC, you understand you don't really want your car to be that high off the ground unless you're running unless you're running in the uh, in the wet. But an ACC error balance is like one of the most important factors in setup. And the moment you start lifting your car off of the ground then you're not finding any time i can assure you of that shit that's the problem man and that's what's unfortunate about you know on console where you don't have motec bro because you, you get to see on the telemetry how much drag you create by lifting up your car too far off the ground because this car on default 60 millimeters is one of the higher gt3 cars <clears throat> excuse me yeah, at 60, milli 60 millimeters, this is one of the highest GT3 cars in terms of uh, height. I like this, the Jag. <clears throat> but most of the other cars are like 54 millimeters. You know? And you would, you would, like, for instance, you would never lift like a Lambo to like 60 millimeters or, or a Ferrari. You know, you try and keep them as planted to the ground as possible. That's where you're getting all your downfalls from. Which is pretty insane, man. 
pretty crazy. But yeah, this setup for me is not translating in terms of uh, the feeling. Still sliding a lot. Hold on, let's see what this is on. Let's go up on this. I shall. I believe this was on 20, I think. 20. Um, 70. Maybe because it's just green track. That might just be the issue. Right. Get them brakes warm. Sir. My tire pressures are too low as well. God damn it. No. Right, it's up my tire pressures. By one PSI. 15 track temp. Okay. Let's go by one PSI. We're not all the way one, I don't think. Right, 15 PSI is just going to keep on dropping as soon as I go out on the track. Because we have that lack of grip as well of it being in green. Which is not helping either. Soften the. Uh... To be fair, that setup that I was using, that is pretty damn old. So I'm going to soften the damper. Um... The deal with PSI is basically. Well, for instance, th this track temperature, 15 Celsius track. So you need to basically set your tire pressure. So you want each tire to be around about 27.5 once your uh, temperature are up to speed. But because the track temp's so low, I'm having to set it higher. So when it gets to its um, right pressure, it stays around 27.5. But you have to do like a lap or two or whatever. But I can already see that my tire pressures are too low. If you if you run your tire pressure too low, you get you can get um, slow punches and stuff like that. So you to make sure your tire pressures are always spot on, which is kind of hard, especially when you're doing races with pit stops. Front left still too low.
for a while. That was crazy. Right, now pressures are too high. Oh my god. Wow. The balance is all off. It's all off. It's definitely, it's, right. it's, it's not the same. Right. It's just not the same, bro. Cannot run the same setup from, from PC. It's clear. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just not happening, mate. It's not snapping. All I can do is, I know what I try and do. Because that setup was so old. I don't even, I don't even know if it's even relevant anymore. What I'll try and do, I did a lap a couple of months ago around Kiel Army in this car. 40.9 or something. So let's see if that setup is cracking. Where are you? Somewhere around here, I believe. There you go. Old Porsche. I never thought I'd really be driving these old cars again. Yeah, that, that's the thing. I thought because um, on console, they seem to be, well, seem to be on some sort of uh, old ass patch because the times are so fast. It's crazy. So I thought maybe if I use an older setup that it might go along with the, with the patch, but it's not happening. And we was on, we was on 1.37 only a few months ago. Is that what I did? Okay. We can we can we can do that. We can do that, exactly. Even though these cambers are pretty ridiculously high. And then I run this kind of low. Uh Right, we need to sort these out. Oh shit, I can't remember why I had it on. We'll just go with this. We'll kind of try and guesstimate the tire pressures a little bit. Can't go wrong with a bit of guesswork, lads. Right. Let's get that down. All right, what did I do on the mechanical grip side of things? It's so annoying when they update the game and your setups don't work. That used to just wind me right up. Especially if you've made like a, I remember I made a really good one for the Audi at, um, at Nürburgring. It was flying. And then they updated it and it was not the same and I had to just work on it work on the car all over again. I was so upset. Okay. Fourteen nine hundred. One one. This is a Kialami set, by the way. Chances are Probably won't even work. But we shall see. Sixty and four, I believe. Oh, shit. Bow. And then I had Three and fifty-two. Okay, I'm not having that. I'm not. The steering ratio. I'm never going to get used to in this game until they update it. And please give us give us some view settings, man. It will change. It will change everything. Five, six, five, seven. Almost. Five, four, seven, six. Uh, 
and then what did we do to the arrow which probably not going to run what time is it in london it is 10 50 pm 10 to 11 and i think i think i've got work tomorrow i don't actually know I actually have no idea if I'll go work tomorrow. It's probably something I should check, right? Right. So you're in what, South Africa? You said you don't live too far away from Kyle Army. Okay. Warm them brakes. Go, go, go. Oh my god. I overshot the corner. I think I've got a flat spot. I'm pretty sure. Yep, I've got a flat spot. I can feel it rambling. All right, mate. This session is about consistency. I don't actually live that far away from Brands, you know. I don't actually live that far away from Brands. I'm in like Enfield, so Brands is like like half an hour, or 45 minutes. Not not even that far, man. I must have been on the same set of tires or something. Them tires are finished. Oh, come on. Okay. What would be your favorite track to visit? Or your favorite racing event or somewhere where you just want to go and watch a race? Monaco, hmm. Yes, Marina, that's that's pretty cool. Twenty four hour spa. Yeah, that'd be fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nope. Keep out of all. Oh my god. Let's just watch that back real quick. That was glorious. Tell Ken Block to find a new job, Mike. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Now, that, that, that worries me. <laughs> the bad case of the flu. Do you know what? I, you know, I've never, I've never, I've never been to watch a race. Never. The closest I've seen to watching a race is the A10 outside the McDonald's drive-thru on a Friday night, mate. When all the boy racers come out with their fucking Peugeot's 206s done up and shit. And their Subaru and Pretzels. That's the closest I've been to watching a race. But what has happened to me is um, when, my, when my missus was pregnant at the time, we were driving to the hospital and it was at the traffic lights on the, um, on the motorway towards Barnet. And this guy pulls up next to us in a Bugatti Veyron. I couldn't believe it. There, there I am in my um, Vauxhall Astra. This guy's pulled up in a Bugatti Veyron. Do you know what I did? I did what any real man would do. I refused to make eye contact with that person. Refused. 
Because once we make eye contact, it's a race. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just how it is. If, if I make eye contact, he sees me, I see him, he sees me see him. That's it. All of a sudden, engines are revving. He wants to race, and that's a race I'm never going to win. Is it? Is that all? 35 squid. How I actually live... This is this is kind of crazy. If you guys know um, that channel on YouTube, Yanomize, that does all the celebrity uh, cars, he does all the football players' cars, does all them crazy raps for all the uh, celebrities. Now I literally live, like I live like behind the shop on the other side, so I see supercars like every day, bro. Like Lambos every day. Literally every day, Lambos, Bentleys. I seen a I seen a a Bama Yang's car. I've seen, I see Yanomizer's car all the time. Literally, man. For 100 quid, oh, nice. I know, man. oh, man. Show it, yeah. I will go, I'll go anywhere. Anywhere, I just don't like planes. I don't like planes. People are like, yeah, but planes are safer than cars. No, they're not. No, they're not. You can have a car crash and survive. <laughs> you know, if your plane crashes, eh, it's, it's nice knowing you. <laughs> People try to fool you with, with, with silly facts. Did you know statistically that being in a car is more dangerous than being in a plane? Yes, that's because there's more cars on the road. Now, if you want to if you want to talk about statistics, how many people survive plane crashes opposed to car crashes? That's what I would like to know. What is the percentage of that? By ferry. Ooh, water. Hmm. Not the best swimmer. Planes are not more safe. That's a lie. That is a lie. They're more safe when they land. Okay? They're not more safe if it crashes. Now, you can have a car crash and be fine. Know what I mean? I know. Ten crashes a year. How many of them crashes? <laughs> I've never died at a... <laughs> oh, man. Out of all them ten crashes in planes, how many of them people survived, bro? Like, two percent. They give me a parachute, I'll be the first one on that bitch. I'll be the first one on that plane. Give me a parachute and I'm cool. No, my luck, I'll probably jump out and get sucked straight into the bloody engine. Brands Hatch British GT. Um, that would be. Good. Do you know what? Yeah, the problem is, is I just find Brands Hatch a little boring. I mean, from my first race, you know, I can't complain. But Brands Hatch is a track to watch. It bores me. What did you miss? You missed a whole lot, bro. You you missed my connection dying in the or my game bugged out because I tried to go online. You missed that. <laughs> All right, for, for me, like. I like I like watching races where there's an opportunity of a pass and you don't have to wait for a mistake. Whereas whenever I watch Blong Pain or well GT Challenge now, and I watch a race at uh, Brands Hatch, it just bores me to death. You know what I mean? The only thing I get excited about is like, I f I find to be honest the same thing is with certain F1 races. I actually find the qualifying more exciting than the race. Do you know what I mean? And in the rate you get to the race and it's just one guy's one guy at the front's rapid, the guy in second hasn't got good race pace, and he holds back the rest of the whole field, just like, oh fucking hell. Boring. And then there, on top of that there's like nowhere to pass. That's why I like Kiel Army as a track so much. Yep, yeah, that was crap. The problem with F1 is it went to hybrid. That's pretty much it.
<laughs> I've always found Jason Plato hilarious. I just think he's funny to watch. And my tires are super cold. Warm up tires, come on. Oh my god. Do you know what? I can't even be arts with this Porsche. It's pissing me off. Yeah, that's it. Apart from Silverstone. And I I'll be honest, yeah. I like the old Silverstone. I don't even like this Silverstone, bro. I, I actually prefer the old Silverstone, bro. I'll add you in a second, man. Hold on. Because I know it's going to make my stream cut out a little bit. But I'll definitely add you after. Um, yeah, my... Uh, I don't like the new Silverstone layout. I prefer the old one when it used to go under bridge. This new this new Silverstone's a little bit boring to me. Like it's not it's not I can't it's not boring. I just I just think the other layout was just more attractive to my memory. Yeah, the reason why you're spinning out is because the track conditions are on green. So I shouldn't have really just quit that, but track conditions on green, so it's like slippery as hell. So chances are you're going to have to put on more wing, man. Is there anything to... Um, I mean, if you're doing an hour, because most of the time in a, in a, a long endurance race, the stint lengths are normally an hour, hour and a five, any, hour and five minutes anyway. Yeah, you'll be fine. If you can do an hour, perfectly fine. Then you'll do. You'll be able to do an endurance race, perfectly fine. The only thing, as you said, is the brake pads, man. Depending on how long the endurance race is, if it's like six hours, you can use brake pads too. <clears throat> so, because I'm, I'm, I'm being dumb right now, guys. I'm getting stuck into. Doing stuff the PC way. Have to remember, this is got to treat it like its own individual game. Twelve hour race, yeah. Break patch free, you'll be safer. I'm gonna treat this like it's its own game, bro. So, first thing I normally do, get the fuel that I need. Test the brake pressures as we start driving. You want to select, well, because the conditions are green, brake pads one is probably going to make you lock up more, but they are faster. But brake pads three are for um, like slippery conditions, longer, they're more durable brakes. Yeah, it's, it's weird because I'm trying to figure out in my mind what patch is this? And I genuinely think this patch is from the beginning of the game because the, the the lap times are so much quicker it's the only thing that could possibly make sense in my mind gold saw your back bro yes so i'm gonna try the default whatever they've given us here and this eight wing i just don't see it happening do not see it happening lad not on green track conditions. Not with that rear that high. Was that, was you watching a Jardia's race here? Yeah, when you're on PlayStation, it uses a new link. It's kind of weird.
Okay, we need to take a small lift for our rouge. Bad tire pressures. Rear is loose. Yeah, it's just. That default setup is not doing anything for anybody on green. Right, this session is about consistency. Try to be fast, but don't push it over the limit. Two minute. Jeez, you almost got in a 59 at Bathurst. Fucking hell. Your first and last night race. Why? How bad was it? I heard the night night racing is not that great on console, man. Can you imagine how fast their NSX is on console at Bathurst? Oh my God, Jesus. Does it not? Has it not got LOD? Let's just check. Hold on. Should we check this shit? Right, let's have a look. Doesn't really. It doesn't project light ahead. What? I use a T300, man. But one, one day, one day, one day, I'm going to reach that fanatic life. One day. All right, let's go. Time. The midnight. Bathurst. Let's take your crappy Jaguar then, Gold Saw. Can I rotate this car? I don't think I can, not without my control button. They only have... Hold on, have I got the right jag? You guys, you have to make sure you're taking the the in the car with the endurance lights though, man. That's another thing I've got to tell you. 2018 GTR. So make sure you're taking the right livery. Low. Oh, is that what they got? Okay, lights. There you go. See, this one has high. So you have to make sure you're taking the right um, the right livery. Because if you've got the wrong livery, it doesn't have the endurance. Oh, you did. Okay, let's see. Let's see then, shall we? Wait. Why is it not even dark? It must be dark, right? What the fuck's this? I said night time, bro. Oh my god. Y'all gonna piss me off. I mean, night racing, night racing on PC looks great. Like the flickering of the lights and all that. Lovely stuff. What have I done here? Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's go to 11 o'clock. Has it done it again? Why is it still bright at 11 o'clock? At night? What's wrong with this game? Okay. Green light, give it all you got. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh my god. That's shocking. Hold on. Oh, you can't even do anything. They don't have any graphic settings, you're kidding me. Wow. That is terrible. Jesus. Hold on. Just hold right on. 
can't even press F7. Oh, fuck. These are the endurance lights. You're joking me. Wow. Let's get them indicators on, mate. <laughs> These are the lights we can get. Wow, wow, wow. That's crazy. They, do you know what? They could have done a lot better, man. I know the graphics. I know they are probably struggling trying to run the game. But, bro, they've missed out so many things that are, like, a necessity, bro. Are you going to create a, a, a GT game where you can't do endurance racing in the night because everyone's just going to bin it? That is interesting, bro. It really is. It really is. Okay, okay, okay. My tires, tires might die. Don't care. My steering's all messed up on this game, so... Man, it is what it is. Let's go. Yeah, definitely. Can you imagine Zolder? Jesus Christ. Oh, that's shocking. <laughs> oh my God. It's so dark, it's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Wonderful. My flicker. What the hell is my flicker? Consoles are 1.37. Yo, Danny Sim Driver, bro. How you doing, man? Yeah, they, listen, their 1.37 is nothing like the 1.4 we have, man. Nothing like it. It's. It's a good, a good second and a bit quicker. Let's get that in. Oh, you know what my indicator's on? <laughs> Alright, let's go like this. Th that, that might be what you need to do in the, in, the, in the night races, bro. People be able to see you without taking you out. Right. Traction free. I never used to get the um the saving issue.
The only issue I used to get on PC is my raindrops never use a shot on my windscreen. Save. Save it a century. Oh, driving, driving Bathurst with a um, with a bit of input lag is crazy. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I don't even want to talk about what was about to happen right there. How, how do people drive Bathurst with input lag? I don't even understand. How? How is that possible without getting damage? It's not happening. It's not happening. The old brand touch. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know, mate. I don't know if that will work. You can try it, though. I need to make a new one, man. Did I did I bring my Lambo one out? I can't remember, but I got like a I got a twenty three zero in the Lambo Evo. But I don't know if I don't think I brought it out. I don't think. Okay, the brake bias is two rearwards. Actually. Well, I will do. Get that straight line speed up. Yeah. I have like, Tim, I have no idea why the console stuff does this, man. It's, it's very weird, like. You can almost tell there's a lot of stuff not quite right. So that my, my front end is higher than my rear. Should aid a little bit more straight line. At the cost of understeer. Fuck you know. I, I can feel it, man. <laughs> I can feel it all. But do you know what? This car is not the steering lag is not that bad. It's just um, accentuated by the track that we're on. But I feel like this car is like a little bit more natural feeling. Like it doesn't feel as bad as some of the other cars, man. Like the Lambo doesn't feel good at all. I've gone too aggressive with the uh, brake bias. It's okay, Goldsworth, you can use it against me, but when you show up in that slow ass jagger at, at Spa, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit. Now you can use that against me. Because that was terrible. Now, now that you can use against me. 
Have you not tried driving a GTR go to? Oh god. It's kinda quick though. But it feels nice at least. God, what the hell? Why? Why, why, why? Very weird. Very weird. I didn't change anything apart from the brake bias, so now the rear has gone able. Okay. Okay. I see what you're doing, man. It does have a little bit of understeer issues, but, you know. Still a decent car. Still decent. Alright, no more fucking about. Okay. It's trying to turn into corners rearwards first. Have no idea why. Wow. Wow. I can't do a lap around here. <laughs> Yo, Tin Man, man, take care, bro. Take care, brother. I, I, I can't do a lap around here because it's impossible for me to be accurate. I can't be accurate. What, what can I do in the settings? What can I possibly do to make my experience feel better on console, bro? I, I can't. And do you know what I think it is as well? Um, and this is not, I'm not going to judge this as a PC player. I think as well, owning a T300, as I do, as a lot of people who have got PlayStations do, T300s are quite old, man. I don't, it might be the fair, I don't know what it is, bro, but T300s are old. Yeah, these wheels have been out for ages. And there's, there's just some something missing in, like, uh, in the force feedback for me. Something missing that should be there. And it's just, it's very, very hard to judge the corners. And because I, I'm trying to drive it the way I know I can drive it, and then I just find it impossible to judge corners the same. Do you know what I mean? Like, because my, my steering is just... I'm just steering and obviously steering in the wrong way. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's not so much like the force feedback feels bad. It just feels like there's missing information. In the control panel, I run, well, it depends. I, I I used to switch it a lot, man, but sometimes I run 540 in the control panel, and then in the game I'll run like 880. So it's a little bit, my, my steering is a little bit weird. But a lot of it depends on what car I'm in. Yeah, I saw that, but the thing is, like, you know, um, I know Prenter did like a session with that Nils Naldrix. And even Nils said himself, um, ideally you want a wheel 
that gives you more information. You know what I mean? You are, it will ask you what wheel you're using. And they say, ideally, you want a wheel that gives you more information. So the better your wheel, the more information you're getting back. It's going to allow you to, uh, you know, excel in certain areas, man. I feel like on console, um, the, the force feedback for console has always been a little bit more dialed down than PC, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it makes the input lag very, very hard, man. You see, the hard, like when I was doing the Lambo at Kialami, the hardest corner to do was the corner after, what's it called, Sunset, the long right-hander. That left-hander after that corner, yo, bro, I could not do that. I couldn't, I couldn't hit that apex in the Lambo. I, I break early. If I break early, the back end steps out. If I break late, I just end up just going straight. It's it's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, he runs a Fanatec as well. Yeah, 39.3 and the lap was a... Uh... If you saw the lap, you'd be thinking, how the hell was that a 39.3? Obviously, you can always go back on the stream and watch it, but you'll see for yourself. Like, on on if I ride that same lap on on PC, I reckon that would have been round about. No word of a lie, that lap would have been round about a forty-one-seven, bro. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't a nailed lap at all. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Not, you know, I, I wasn't throwing it and like ringing it around the track at all. <clears throat> Yeah, I've seen I've seen that thread going around, man. Um, did someone post it on my Discord? They might have. I can't. I think they have. I'm not too sure, but I'm I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna have a look at it. Um, I'll probably try it again tomorrow. I've got a week. Well, I haven't got a week off, but um, I haven't got a race AOR this week, so I've got a bit more spare time to play with. And uh, yeah. Uh, we'll see, man. But guys, I'm gonna have to jump off because uh, I don't. I don't even know. Hold on, let me check if I got work. What are the chances? What are the chances they put me in for Tuesday, and not Monday? But I, I do have a holiday after. I do have a holiday, a two-week holiday after this week. So, what are the chances I'm in work tomorrow? Um, I, I I wonder why the steering is, is the way it is on console. It's quite weird. Alright, let's have a look. Let's go on my let's go on my work website and look at my shifts. And I'm in tomorrow, motherfucker. Who am I in with is the question. It so oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, they're trying it with me again tomorrow, huh? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Bruh. Why do they always do that? They put me in but don't put no one to cover. Oh, they're doing it again on Tuesday, okay. Cause these guys think I'm just gonna stay at work. I don't know why they do this shit. Well, someone's gonna be upset tomorrow because I ain't staying. Right, guys. Well, I hope the the help that I did give you guys has managed to help you out in some form or fashion. I'm sure you can go back and check some of the setups and use them. Especially that the Lambo setup was probably pretty decent. But uh, yes, I think my next stream actually on Tuesday, I'll be practicing for ACR and I'll be on the PC, but I'll do that stream on Twitch. So you've got to jump over to my Twitch channel, lads. Right, so setting up the, the setting up the steering wheel individually for each car is the way that we're going to be rocking on console. Mm. I mean, it's 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 annoying, but I guess if you're like if you're doing like a league or something like that, then you're driving the same car all the time. You should be all right.
you know <clears throat> if you're if you're doing like a if you're doing a league race man or if you're doing a league the best thing is is just to stay in your car all the time stay in that same car don't don't like switch and chop and change and shit and you just get that car dialed in completely <laughs> Well, yeah, guys, I will be streaming on Twitch on Tuesday and Wednesday. On Tuesday, you'll, I'll just be doing some running through some practice. And then on Wednesday is the main race, which is 90 minutes at Spa. 90. And then next week, AOR is 90 minutes at Spa again. So, yeah, man. That's my Twitch channel, man. Go jump on that. Tuesday, I'll be streaming from probably 8 o'clock again. And then on the Wednesday, I'll be streaming from 6.55 where you get to see some of the uh, the faster, faster guys I'll be racing. Cheers, Maka P. I appreciate that, man. If you guys ain't subscribed already, man, make sure you subscribe. Um, and yeah, you can catch me again. Tuesday, I'll be streaming again on Wednesday, back on YouTube. And then Friday, I might do a bit of Call of Duty. Do you know what I'm sharing? A bit of Call of Duty, lads. If you're up for it. A bit of COD. But yes, anyway, guys, man. Take care of yourselves, man. Be safe. Be safe. Coronavirus, be safe. All right, man. Take care, everybody. Peace.